video, we're going to focus on responding to incentives. So we all know that choices uh, respond to incentives. And for any activity, when marginal benefit is greater than marginal cost, then we do more of that activity. And for any activity, when marginal benefit is less than the marginal cost, we do less of that activity. And that is intuitive in itself. When something, um, when you're doing something and uh, you get more benefit than it costs, then you do more of it. Like, for example, uh, when you go for McDonald's and you go and McDonald's always have these deals that they offer to their uh, customers. And if you think that it benefits you more than it costs, then you probably uh, have more of those deals. You probably go, go and go and buy more of those offers or deals but if if the cost is greater than the benefit in your opinion then you probably do less of that activity for uh, reasons that are already pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory and yeah I just have a little note here that self-interested actions are not necessarily uh, selfish actions because uh, because economists, they always uh, take human nature as given and they always view people as acting in their self-interest. So when we talk about self-interest, we probably think of people as really selfish. But when, when, we, when we're talking about microeconomics, self-interested actions are not necessarily selfish actions. And that's what you need to know and get into your head. Uh, is that examinable? I don't examinable. I don't think so because it seems too easy. But anything could happen, right? So that's Facebook. Sorry about that. So um, econ econ ah, econ economics as a social science. So economics distinguishes between two types of statement. The what is and the what ought to be. The what is is a positive statement and the what ought to be is a normative statement. Now, positive statements are statements that can be tested against facts and normative statements are statements that cannot be tested. So, uh, for example, um, what's the weather today? Uh, if you answer that question and give me a guess, is it positive or normative? pause the video and come back. If you guess that the, the, the answer to the question, what is the weather today, is a positive statement, you are right because uh, we can test it against the fact. We could just go outside and see what the weather is like. But uh, let's ask the question in a different manner. What, uh, what is the weather tomorrow? Well, that would be a normative statement because uh, the weather tomorrow cannot be tested. I know we do have a weather forecast, but that plays on probability and not against fact. So what is the weather tomorrow is a normative statement because we cannot test it uh, accurately or super accurately. But I guess we can in the future because the technology is just getting better and better. So uh, I guess... Um, yeah, that's just, that, that's a good, good enough example because I can't think of another one right now. But yeah, so another thing that I want to talk to you about is uh, models. So economists create and create and test economic models. And an economic model is pretty much a model of the, of the economic world. And it mainly focuses on features needed at hand. So it's totally man uh, manipulable by the economists. It models the economic world and uh, there are parameters and models that we can change and some that we can hold the same and that's uh, what a model is all about right and yeah that's an economic model and that is what economics uh, economists uh, create and use. So yeah you can see that here that I have this definition that says that uh, the economic model is tested by comparing predictions with facts and uh, the facts are taken from the model and the predictions is what comes out of your head, I guess. 
And also, econ economists also use natural experiments, statistical investigations, and economic experiments. But you know what I'm going to say. We're not going to look at this. So do no, not studying. So we're not going to study. We're not going to study that. Not study. Whatever. So what you really need to know in this video, what we went through in this video is responding to incentives that marginal benefit greater than marginal cost do more, benefit less than cost do less, self-interested actions not necessarily selfish actions, yes, you gotta remove that, but yeah, just keep it at the edge of your mind again. What is and what ought to be positive statements and normative statements, these are the things, well, I think for sure that this this uh, positive statements and normative statements will be on your exam if you have a multiple choice exam because it's really easy, easily testable. So if you went through this in class uh, and your class is going to have a multiple choice exam, most likely you're probably going to have uh, some kind of question involving positive and normative statements. But I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, Don't hold me to that though. I said it might be on your exam, not for sure. So, uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you want, uh, if you like these videos. And, uh, yeah, this is the end of this chapter. So, yeah, this is just a heads up, end of this chapter. And, yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.